for a special interview with a gym challenger. The best way to get to know you is a Pokemon battle, of course. Good Pokemon and trainers really shine on camera. Okay, so it does sound like a double battle between Jillian and Cam. Cam looks so out of it. Unless Cam is the girl, I'm pretty sure Cam is the cameraman, because Cam, short for camera. Jillian, yep, there it goes. I love to heliodial. <laughs> that name's so hard. And Clink. I'm switching out Corvus Choir. Snover would be good against both. I'm just thinking, maybe. But if not, we have Raboot to back him up. I just don't want to risk Corvusak Squire getting hit by an electric type. Oh, but there is a Okay, we're going ahead with Flame Charge. And then, I guess for this one, um, do some Powder Snow. I hope it doesn't hit Reboot. I can't tell. Because <laughs> there's some moves that hit all parties except for the one doing it. But it says it's only going to hit Clink. Let's try it out. It won't be very effective anyway. They're really trying to get Raboot out of the way. But it's fine. Okay, Raboot speed rolls. Clink fainted. Let's see. We're gonna learn today what it means to double battle. Ah, uh, forget an old move. Nah, I'm gonna keep my old move. hard to describe it in just a few words. What incredible potential. I lost, so that means the interview is ruined. Just use the footage of me winning the 3600. With your strength, you're sure to keep winning during your gym challenge. Please let me get an interview again sometime. Your Pokemon look great even when I view them through the camera. Hopefully, like, um, all skitties or stubbles. Oh, I thought there was a machino. Nice. Let's see. Okay, let's go down this way, actually. What's down here? A Wobbuffet. That was a female Wobbuffet. Let's actually... It's female because it has lipstick. Pretty obvious. That's 
Love of it. Number 217. 217. Patient Pokemon. Type Psychic. To keep its pitch black tail hidden, it lives quietly in the darkness. It is never first to attack. No. Mrs. Buffett. That's usually what I give them. Names. When I found out the gender differences, I would name the female Mrs. Buffett and then the male Mr. Woe. <laughs> Send to a box. Mrs. Buffett has been sent to a box. Alright. Oh, let's get these berries. This stuffle's about to kill me. Two chesto and one shillin'. Shake it more. Three chestos. There are six berries. I'll just, I'll just take them. I don't want to like fight anyone right now. The stuffle's just staring at me. We'll get the drip bloom another time. There's something in this water. Oh, so this is basically just another root. Oh, I forgot what these are called, but I want them. They're like a fairy type bird, right? I think. Why can't I go? Oh, it's a TM. <laughs> TM31 attract. There's just a bunch of pink Pokemon right here, right now. Okay, we all know what attract is. It's one of the OG moves. Um, I'm gonna battle these people. So it's nice to know that Togepi's in this game. Togepi. Oh, I hope they're friends. Not like what happened to Reboot and... Um, I forgot. Stuffle. Oh wow, why not join it? Oh, never mind. But do so small. Alright, let's... Are we cooking together? That'd be interesting. So, um, last night, last time I chose I'll put a chest out. Let's put two chest outs. Let's put one cherry. Let's put uh, OG, two OG orange berries. Okay, that's good. Let's actually put one more cherry berry. 
dry mushroom medley curry. Looks good. I love curry. Is it good? I can tell. Oh, Yamper likes it. That's good enough. Yeah, I can never get past... I can never get past two stars. I don't know if it's the ingredients I'm using or if it's like my technique, but yeah. Let's talk to Yamper and see what he thinks of everyone in here. Yamper's so unsatisfied, tell me more. Yamper looks like he wants a lot of attention, tell me more. Yamper looks like he's having fun. Okay, go play. Now let's talk to Togepi. Oh, it looks like to play the bouncy Okay, let's chat. Eggy. Looks like he wants to play with other Pokemon. Okay, fine. Take a good look at the Pichu, the Badu, the Clava. Alright, let's just go. The secret to preparing an amazing meal is stirring it just right over the perfect heat. You know you're doing great if the top of the pot starts sparkling. Oh, so it is because of my technique. I need to practice my technique first. Alright, Yamper is in good health again. Let me just take the ball, the great ball from him real quick. I'd like to show you my Pokemon that have grown so well. You are challenged by Pokemon breeder Deborah. Send out Minchino. Alright, good matchup, good matchup. Well, considering Yamper only has Nuzzle, maybe it's a good matchup. Tickle, 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 tickle. Yamper's attack fell, Yamper's defense fell. Steen. Let's switch. I don't remember who Steen is. Is Steen a new or old? Well, when in doubt, bring the big guns out. We haven't played with Corvus Squire in a while. Pokemon Breeder sent out Steen. Oh, this is an old Pokemon. I think it's like the evolution of like that chestnut Pokemon I forgot the name of, but we're using Pluck anyway. <laughs> we got a good matchup. <laughs> like I said, when in doubt, bring the big guns out. Defeated Pokemon breeder Debra. I wasn't sure which moves to use and got lost in thought. Me, same. Can relate. Relatable. Just saying everything I could think of to keep talking to her. Let's actually fight the chef. I'd 
that wasn't, he wasn't fake. Did you guys see that? He was totally, okay, whatever game. Oh, I found a trainer whilst gathering berries. I took all the berries, sir. <laughs> Why are they all holding great balls? I just noticed. Cooks do it. Like the postman earlier, he was holding a great ball. Apple and nice. I want this guy. Okay, I, another reason I chose Pokemon Shield? Appleton is in this version, and I freaking love that dude. I don't even have him yet. I just saw him in the Pokemon leaks, and I was like, an apple pie Pokemon, sign me up. That's my jam. That's my Pokemon. <laughs> Let's actually, uh... Pokemon love different berries, so you've got to gather a lot of different kinds. I'm, I miss making Poke Puffs or like Poke Cubes. I forgot what they're called, but I miss that. I was chased by Pokemon in the tall grass and ended up wandering aimlessly. Alright. Let's see, some Yamper's still good to go. Yamper's still good to go. Who, who, do, who needs leveling up? Lombre does, and Gossipler, but I think Lombre is too low of a level, we'll just, um, oh wow, he saw me from, that's the first time I haven't had to, like, walk up to them in a while, this guy's like an OG <laughs> trainer, can see you from a mile away, scary, my partner's Pokemon's been growing in a really unique way, check it out, you should get that checked out by a dog. Oh, he's like caressing it. Breeder, Adrian. Send out Stuffle. I wonder how unique he's growing. What typing is Stuffle? I forget. Is he, um, fighting already? Or is he just normal type right now? Is he dark? He looks like he could be dark. I don't know how you people remember all typings. Like, unless it's apparent. Like, you could tell by Yamper's tail, he's electric. But like, Stuffle, he could be anything. Very dark, fighting, normal. What was that? I wasn't paying attention. I was ranting. Use Spark. He has three. Three. His tackle is like a flail. He looks like he's flailing. We're switching. Send out robot because I want my robot to get the more XP. I don't know if I'll use robot in the next gem, but he'll be a part of my team. Just don't know if I'll pull him out though. Flame charge as always to get that speed boost right away. And then we'll just build it from here. So we could just keep attacking first.
go Corvus Glyre. Send out Ralts. I'm gonna have to defeat one of my favorite Pokemon. Let's do Home Claws first. Get that accuracy in attack. Training gear. And then Power Trip. Gave, him, gave us a little kiss goodbye, I guess. Before he faints and goes back into Spoke Ball. the one I kept thinking about when I was see seeing Combi, but it wasn't even the right <laughs> it's Rebombi but this was in my brain so Pluck he's so small Corvus Square can swallow him whole with how tiny he is good thing I didn't use Peck Tree Breeder Adrian is defeated Pokemon are living creatures after all. You can't always raise them how you want. But they have mints now, right? That can change the nature typing of Pokemon. Is this the breeder house? Raising Pokemon unselfishly means that they'll show you their new capabilities. This is the breeder house. The Pokemon nursery. You found the right place to come for all your Pokemon egg finding. Yes! This is where you guys are going to see me at post game because all I ever do is shiny hunt <laughs> ever since I discovered shiny hunting post game I mean shiny hunting and soul silver what's a shed shell this discarded carapace enables the holder to switch out of battle with a nice okay cool no more entrapments I can't get out there's too many Pokemon in my exit let's go around them actually Let's talk to this lady. Nice to see a new face around here. This is a Pokemon nursery. We take care of people's Pokemon here. When people leave two Pokemon with us, we sometimes find eggs. And we never know how it happens. Because this is a kid's game. If you're interested in that sort of thing, ask the old lady inside to tell you more. No, 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 no. Just wanted to consult. <laughs> That's that new baby Pokemon that I really like and really think is cute. Tux Tux. I don't know its name yet, but I want one. I'm gonna talk to you. It's a Toxel, a real Toxel. I found an egg and it carried it around with me and it hatched into a Toxel. <gasps> this lady is giving me a free Pokemon, no trade or whatever. Why don't you raise it? It's a real shocking Pokemon. Huh, nice. She gave me a pun too. This lady's the best. Shocking, get it? Because he's probably an electric type. Oh, it's Harry Potter. <laughs> he has a lightning bolt scar on his head. It's too bad I'm not doing any nicknames this run through because I would have named. He also looks like Spyro, though. Especially when he evolves into like amped up, his amped up version with the yellow streaks. He looks like Spyro, the coloring and everything. But he looks like Harry Potter. Name him Potter. Just uh, Potter. <laughs> Toxel. Number 310310. Baby Pokemon. That's literally his name. Baby Pokemon. It's like how Togepi is an egg Pokemon. Or Execute. Execute or Togepi. They're both egg Pokemon. Type. Electric and poison. It manipulates the chemical makeup of its poison to produce electricity. The voltage is weak, but it can cause a tingling paralysis. Ooh, tingles. Tingling, tingling paralysis. No, sadly no, regrettably no. No nicknames today. We got a free Pokemon, guys. This is the best best lady. And take these too. They'll help your Pokemon grow if you use them. Oh, experience. I never use these. 
eggs are found at Pokemon nurseries. XP candies are found from Max Raid battles. And you found yourself a real nice friend today, wouldn't you say? Yes, I'm gonna raise him. I'm gonna raise him well. I can use him in the next gym, actually. Oh, welcome. Here at the Pokemon nursery, we take care of the Pokemon that trainers leave with us. The Pokemon we look after won't get strong. But if you leave two Pokemon with us, we sometimes find Pokemon eggs. If you want to leave your Pokemon with us, please speak to my granddaughter outside. Everyone has like a granddaughter or a grandma in this game. Is that like the thing in Great Britain? Tell me about Pokemon eggs. If you put a Pokemon egg in your party and carry it around, a Pokemon will hatch from the egg. Nobody knows where Pokemon eggs come from. They truly are mysterious. Tell me about what Pokemon I should leave. If you want to find Pokemon X, think about the two Pokemon you leave here. I recommend you to leave two of the same species of Pokemon with different genders. If the species are similar, we may still find a Pokemon egg. But it seems we never find eggs with certain combinations of Pokemon left here. No, that's it. That is like the most informative nursery I've ever come across in Pokemon games ever. They usually just tell you you can- oh. That looked like a battle, guys. <laughs> um, let me just check around real more real quick in the move 5 before we battle them. In case we missed anything, but it doesn't seem like we did. Okay. But yeah, usually they just tell you you can leave their Pokemon with you, and then you'll just randomly find an egg if you're lucky. Like, there is a lot more mystery and, like, surprises in old Pokemon games, because you would have to kind of figure stuff out by yourself. But nowadays, especially now, there's the internet. Pokemon playthroughs, and now this, where the, green, the game literally just straight up tells you what to do. But yeah, I discovered shiny Pokemon in Soul Silver really late, and it was by accident. And I'm gonna do a video about that, like, in the next milestone. I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. I really want to show you guys my shiny collection, and like, the story behind each one. That's what this my post game's gonna be all about. Shiny hunting. Team Yell. Oi. Just hand over that bike already. We needed to cross this long bridge. We're gonna use that bike to chase around gym challengers. It'll be a scream. How barbaric. It wouldn't work anyway. You don't even have a rotom with you. Hey young gym challenger. They're trying to steal my bike. <laughs> this guy looks so done. Please, if you could give them a good thrashing, I would be in your death. He's probably had like a really long shift at the hospital and he's just trying to get home. And Team Yell's just ruining his day now. Oi, we're not trying to steal the bike. Only borrow it. We're gonna use it to chase after gym challengers and make them all tired. But, I'm thinking you deserve a special shout-out. I'm gonna crush you in a battle. I'm really enjoying saying oi in this game. Oi. <laughs> Just a random one for you guys. Yamper. Okay, I'm pretty sure Yamper's really low. Switching out Yamper after this. The opposing Zigzagoon is paralyzed. Um, that's good. Wait, what level was he again? 17. Let's take out Lombre, actually. That's a close enough level to actually use Lombre in battle. No paralysis? Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna mega drain him. See how much damage that does. Not that much. Use tackle. 
or water gun or water gunning it used lick again oh now we're paralyzed that sucks water gun again am I paralyzed oh I am I didn't say anything though okay oh never mind the paralysis just made me slower that's cool that it shows that so, the zigzag goon went first. Okay, what's your next Pokemon? Devil. I think that's the evolution of Naked. Hmm. Keep current Pokemon. Nah, he's. He, if he wasn't paralyzed, I would have kept him. Let's send out Gossifler. We can put him to sleep. And then bombard him with Rezilia. Send out the evil. Yeah, it's the evolution of Nick. He's so majestic. He reminds me of Swiper. <laughs> Again, if we were doing nicknames, he's Swiper. Swiper, no swiping. Sing. Oh, he goes first. He looks so cool. Oh, he winked. Did you guys catch that wink? He's a Casanova. Oh, that's another good name. For Thievel, a Casanova. Wow. I should be writing these down. Because I did say I would start giving them nicknames. Post game. Okay, he just keeps avoiding it. We're not even going to try anymore. We're just razor leafing it. Cotton down. Speed keeps falling, but quick attack. Make sure he keeps going first, so. Hopefully he doesn't do quick attack again. Okay, there he doesn't. Wonder what he does this time. A critical hit. Nice gossipler. Uh oh, my special attack fell. It's gonna affect my razor leaf. Oh, but surprisingly, he chose to do Tail Whip. He could have finished off my Gossifler with another Snarl. Thievo fainted. Pokemon XP, Gossifler, and Lombre leveled up. Lombre's level 17. I defeated him. I wonder if I still have to battle his other we're Team Yell. We get up in the faces of trainers. With that face, it doesn't look really confident. Gah, you crushed my attempt to crush you. Why you? I want that bike. Don't get in my way. Okay, why can't we just double battle and get it over with? Why do we have to single battle? I'll see. It's just this one sable eye, so I'm probably gonna go with Reboot for that extra X XP. Sable eye is scratch. <gasps> sable eye is so small compared to Reboot. Or maybe it's just the perspective. I'm, he's far away, but he looks small. Scratch. I was debating. I was I was debating on either using reboot or snover for this one, but I want reboot to get like a, the final say because he's my starter Pokemon. Yamper leveled up. I was too distracted by that bike. Dot dot dot. Otherwise, there's no way I'd lose to a yellow belly like you. 1,440 for winning. Okay, give me my, my, my bike, sir. 
you're too strong. If you stay in the gym challenge, you're gonna cause problems for our lady. You haven't seen the last of us. We're gonna make sure you stay out of our lady's way. Pretty sure they're talking about Marnie. My word, you're quite the trainer. And I see you have a Pokedex too. That means you have a Rotom with you. Fantastic. I think I'll give this bike to you then. Oh shoot. Now you know that Rotom loves motors very, very much, right? Enough to jump right into machines that have motors. So, that got me thinking. If I attached a motor to a bicycle, then maybe I could get a Rotom to pop into that as well. Right. Come now, give it a shot. Enjoy cycling together with Rotom to the fullest. Chop chop, come on now. You and Rotom ride that bicycle together. A Rotom bike, yay. This bike can be combined with a Pokemon Rotom to use a turbo boost. I'll read the manual. Press the plus button or minus button to ride your bike with Rotom. Let's get cycling. Oh no, he's just a manual dude now. <gasps> Safety first, dude. Wow, this place is cool. Look at that. Look at that. That's the wild area I haven't been to yet. Wow, this is so cool. This is like one of the most scenic parts of this game. It's nice. Let's talk to everyone. What is the problem with those team yell goons? I can understand wanting to cheer someone on, but they cause so much trouble in the process. Hardly a decent way for fans to behave. They're called fanatics for a reason. They're like lunatic fans. That big building you see in the distance is Hammerlock Stadium. Oh, I see it, yeah. You're going to battle there too. Thank you. Oh. What a confidence. Oh, so there's Hop again. Am I going to battle Hop? I'm warning you though, any closer than that, and we're gonna have to have a battle, you and me. Okay, whatever. We're gonna do this. Today is a battling day, I guess. Let's just put... Who's in the front usually? Woo, right? Let's put Raboot in the front and just get this over with. Battle me off. I like how I like magically poof in and out of my biking outfit. Like fairly odd parents or something like that. I warned you. We're both gym challengers who've earned ourselves a grass patch. This is the perfect training. How did you win with your team, Hop? Did you get someone new? Let's have a taste of what a gym badge holder's team can do. He's, nah, he still only has three, so. How did you beat the grass type gym with your Pokemon up? Okay, Ember. Lulu fainted. Pokemon, everybody's. Oh, Lombre leveled up. Fury swipes. Let's actually see. 18. Missed, but let's just take it out. Cause Snowbird has missed. Long Braver got missed and learned furry swipes instead. Corvus Glyre. Mm, trying to think. I wish. 
could use Yamper, but he's really low. I'll just wipe out his team with Raboot. We could have also switched to Snover, because Ice is uh, super effective on flying. But it's fine. I'm gonna build a flame charge. So we can, like, just one-shot Grookey. Block. Good thing Raboot's not a fighting type yet. Ember. Fury attack. Pokemon was hit three times. Quick attack. The way they kind of like disappear like a ninja is really cool. Her boot leveled up to level 24. Wants some agility. The user relaxes and lightens its body to move faster. This sharply raises the speed stat. I don't know. We already have flame charge, which already does that. Hmm. This Pokemon is an ace, apparently. Oh, Swacky. You are my second choice. You could have been a part of my team. <laughs> Super effective. Okay, typical. Should have known you mastered type matchups. I've been, huh? My Pokemon are almost level 30. Of course I would have mastered matchups by now. Hop, you're disappointing me as my rival. <laughs> Get more than three Pokemon too. You need it. Pokemon gained experience points. Corvus Clark grew to level 24. Cosmoor grew to level 20. And Snowbird grew to level 20. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. What should I remove? Uh, but Mist is so good. It keeps my stats from getting lowered for five turns. <sighs> Sadly, we must let it go. We are going full on offensive moveset for now. We both got ourselves the same grass patch, so how come you're so much stronger? It's okay, Hop. I'm the main character. I have plot armor. <gasps> Cosmoflare's evolving. Yay! Let's see. Albacos. She turned into a diva. She met. She fixed her wild, woolly hair. And put it into a giant, elegant bun. <laughs> Eldegoss is added to the Pokedex. Eldegoss, number 127, Cotton Bloom Pokemon, type, grass. The cotton on the head of this Pokemon can be spun into a glossy, gorgeous yarn, a Galar Regional specialty. No nicknames, no nicknames. Oh, Cotton Spore. What is Cotton? The release is cotton like spores that cling to opposing Pokemon, which harshly lowers their speed stats. Yes, give up. I don't want that. We have an Eldegoss now, guys. What an eventful Route 5. You've gotten strong, Chicha. Seems I've got to train even harder from now on. I believe in you, Op. One day, you too will learn matchups. <laughs> learn from me, Op. Thank you. Next up is Nessa, the leader of the water gym. Bye, Hop. My old gullible friend. 
Ooh, shiny. A clever feather. Clever feather. Clever feather. Clever feather. That was a homage to Heather Feather, another ASM artist I really like. Clever feather. She has that for like her intro. It's like. She's the one who makes Cusca a thing. Whoa, look at that. Oh, that's so cute. No, I already have one. I can't get... Oh, shoot. Are you okay? She's just on the floor. I want to pick her up, but it'll end up in a battle. Oh, shiny. A swift feather. A swift feather. It increases speed, but... Oh my gosh. Goodbye, God. Oh my gosh. That was such a cute intro or just animation. This is why I think Pokemon should follow behind us. Because what if that was Eldegoss's walking animation? Like it just floated around us. Okay, well, I'm gonna end the episode right next to this Eldegoss. I think. He or she deserves to be in my outro, so. Also, the scenic background is really good. Here, let's be in our biking outfit too, so like, it's everything. <laughs> We've done this episode. So, um, yeah, as I was saying, imagine all the goss, like if it was the Pokemon in front of your team, that's usually the one behind you, like in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and stuff. And then Eldegoss is just like floating behind you, that'd be so great. And every time you stopped walking or running, it would just plop gently onto the ground. Like a... Like the gentle cotton ball it is. Anywho, we did a lot this episode. Route 5 was like a handful, so we're gonna have to save Holberry for the next episode. We got a Pokemon for free in the Pokemon Nursery. We learned that my cooking technique sucks. We battled a lot. We got Gossifler to evolve. We fought Team Yo. We got a new Rotom bike. And we beat Hop again. So, really eventful episode 12. Hopefully, you guys will join me in the next episode. And it will be just as eventful as this episode. But, for now.